Sangaris or Sanji people are one of the native people to the Sangar Islands in the northern chain of islands in Sulawesi and the southern part of Mindanao. The Sangaris people are fishermen and nutmeg growers in their home areas and also work as wage laborers in industrial crops enterprises in Bolang Mongandao Regency and Minahasa Regency. The Sangaris have traditionally been concentrated in the province of North Sulawesi in Indonesia and the region of Davao in the Philippines. Language they speak their native Sangaris language, Talat language and Indonesian language, as well as their dialects, which belong to the Austronesian languages family. While Sisahara language meaning sea speech, is a secret language developed in the first half of the 20th century, are widely spoken among Sangaris sailors or pirates. It includes a large number of words borrowed or distorted. History The primary settlements of the Sangaris people are the Sanji Islands. Archaeologists have determined that the first humans that arrived in the region of islands were in the 3rd millennium BCE and probably were a mix of Vedoids and Negritos. In 1st millennium BCE Austronesian migrant came here through the southern Philippines. They dialpaced the natives, and began to develop agriculture, to produce fabrics and ceramics. Modern Sangaris people are the direct descendants of that population that has developed on Sanji Islands before the start of the modern era. The Sangaris people consider themselves originating directly from Sangar Island and their primogenitor is Gumansalangi, a cultural hero, who lived around the 14th to 15th century. During this period the Sanji Islands formed a government under the authority of the Muslim rulers of the Maluku Islands. In the 16th century, the Ternatean people subdued the Sangaris people and the islands were discovered by the Portuguese. Then in the 17th century, they were initially captured and became part of the Spaniards' colonial rule, which resulted in the vocabulary borrowed from the Spanish language is still preserved in the Sangaris language, and then followed by the Dutch who came later to occupy them in 1677. Maluku sultans also continued to consider Sanji Islands as part of their territory. By the 19th century, European influences was limited to trading. As Sanji Islands were between Dutch and Spanish possessions, the local inhabitants have successfully performed the role of middleman dealers and smugglers. This led to the emergence of Sangaris settlements on Sulawesi and the southern Philippines. Sangaris resettlements in other areas of the eastern Celebes Sea were contributed by the catastrophic volcanic eruption of Mount Awu on Sangar Island on 2 March 1856. In the 19th century, presence of Protestant missionaries and increased role of colonial officers began to appear on the island. In 1945, Indonesia gained its independence. In 1950, Sulawesi and Sanji Islands became part of Indonesia. The first decade of the reign under the Indonesian administration started the fight against smuggling, which involved many Sangaris people, as well as the participation of some Sangaris people in anti-government movement. In the late 1950s to early 1960s, disappointed Sangaris Indonesians took action to recreate migration to the Philippines. Migration of the Sangaris population between the two countries took place in that period. Religion Ancient belief system of the Sangaris people are polytheistic in nature, which include the belief in many spirits of nature and ancestral, the ritual worship of inanimate objects and magic. Among Sangaris people are class of distinguished shamans or priests that acted as mediators between the world humans and spirits, to protect patients and children, and to perform miracles. Despite the spread of Islam and Christianity, many ancient rituals are still being practiced today. Islam began to spread in the 15th to 16th century from the Maluku Islands and North Sulawesi, but before the arrival of Europeans, they had a very limited impact. In the 17th century, group of Sangaris Muslims migrated to the area of Manado, which has a separate religious and ethnic group from the Sangaris people. As of the 19th to early 20th century, Muslim among the Sangaris people became preachers to other Dutch colonies in Asia. The first Christian missionaries that arrived were the Spanish Catholic monks in the 17th century. But their activity had no long-term nature. Since 1857, the Sanji Islands opened to Protestant missionaries. 
The Sangaris people profess Protestantism, being at the same time strongly influenced by the Minahasan people. Today, about 79% people of Sanji Islands Regency profess Christianity, with the majority are Protestants. Adherents of other faiths are Muslims with about 20% of the people, while the rest profess native beliefs. Culture Sangaris folklore are famous for its dance art. Local dance includes Gund, Alavadiri, Masampur, Ampawayar and so on. Previously, they had ritual gatherings, but nowadays it is also accompanied by the public holidays. Sangaris dance represents a certain set of smooth body movements of the dancer performing the dance but organized dance of large group of dancers are usually accompanied with a musical band and female rhythmic singing. Lifestyle and economy Sangar people are engaged in fishing, hunting, farming, the main crops are tubers, root crops, bananas, sago, and transit marine trading between Sulawesi, Maluku Islands and the Philippines. The sources often mention the cultivation of taro culture, which was cultivated on the slopes of mountains and near rivers. To protect the cultivated fruits like coconuts from thefts, residents from Sangar hung small dolls, in Sangaris language, Euro, which, according to legend, will pursue a thief. Agriculture is considered to be mainly women's work. Relationship lineage and the transfer of previously inherited lands occurs in the female line. The main occupations of Sangaris men are such as shipbuilding, seafaring and trade. Forestry production, harvesting of rattan and ebony wood, blacksmithing and weaving were also widely spread. The economy is mainly characterized by manual labor. It is known that the main diet of Sangaris people is fish with vegetables. The main centers of settlements of the Sangaris people are located in the coastal zones. Previously, their houses were erected on stilts, but gradually they are replaced by modern houses built like the typical Indonesian type. Families who lived in the same village, forms a community called SOA. Resettled Sangaris people from Sanji Island seek out and continually maintain family ties with their SOA, which would help them to preserve their identity in an environment similar in language and culture of their people. Institute of Marriage In the Sangaris society, which reached a high density by the 20th century, marriage is entered relatively late. Historically, the tradition of buying a bride is an important institution of public organization. Sometimes the ransom looked like whole plots. Notable people Franz Mohid, Indonesian actor, singer and martial artist Mike Mohid, Indonesian singer Lambertus Nicodemus Pilar, Indonesian diplomats Jan Engelbert Tatengkang, Indonesian poet Monty Tiwa, Indonesian composer and film director Ruth Sahanaya, Indonesian singer Pants Franz Pondog, Indonesian singer and songwriter. References External links In Indonesian, Suku Sanger, Sulawesi Utara